Hi, babe. Happy third anniversary. I hope you're having a lovely romantic meal and... Is what? Patriot Prime. Oh, well, in that case... Happy third YouTube anniversary from Transform and Tell. hoo Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again. And yes, this is my third anniversary on YouTube. I'm actually shocked I made it this far. I'm actually shocked I made it one year into YouTube. But here I am, three years later, getting ready to start my fourth. And I am just thrilled to death to talk to you guys and share with you guys my last year, my third year on YouTube, which was a fantastic year. Take away the whole pandemic apocalypse thing. My last year on YouTube was great. And when I refer to my last year, that was October 2019 to now. And man, without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this right here. So a quick recap of my year. And first off, I want to apologize for my voice and probably the fluctuations that's going to happen during this video. It's full bore allergy season here in West Virginia. Our temperature dropped about 20 degrees. I've got leaves falling outside and it is playing havoc with my sinuses. So please bear with me throughout this video. Now, in October of 2019, I started my third year off in a fantastic way at TFCon in Reston, Virginia. And oh my God, was that so much fun. I got to meet so many fellow fans, fellow YouTubers, voice actors, subscribers, which was really cool, yet kind of weird when people are coming up, are you Patriot Prime and shaking my hand? That was, that was just surreal to me. And I loved every minute of it. It was so cool actually meeting you, you guys and just hanging out and having a blast, not to mention all of the wonderful toys that were everywhere. I can't wait to go back. That was my second Transformer convention and I'm hooked. I need more. So hopefully after the apocalypse is all over and done with, we can go back to doing those type of things that we love and all hanging out in person. Now in November, that's when the whole COPPA thing came out. Remember COPPA, the doom of us YouTubers? We were all so paranoid that us Transformer YouTubers, toy reviewers, we're going to be just shot down thanks to COPPA and we'd all be kiddified more or less. All of our channels will be marked for kids, no monetization, no comments, nothing like that. And it turned out to be a big nothing burger. I mean, we were all worried for nothing. So yeah, that was November. Hey guys, Bert the Stormtrooper here from That's Just Prime and Bert Stormtrooper Reviews. And I just want to congratulate my good friend Jason, the Patriot Prime, on his three years on YouTube. Buddy, your channel is doing so great. It gets better every day, man. I am so happy to have met you and to be friends with you. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. And I'll uh, talk to you soon, buddy. Great. Keep it up. In December, I got to meet one of the best friends that I made doing this YouTube thing right here. Bert the Stormtrooper. We were messaging each other back and forth, come to find out at Christmas he was coming to Virginia to visit family. And when I researched where he was, he was only an hour drive from Princeton, West Virginia. I'm an hour drive from Princeton, West Virginia. So we decided to drive and meet up at a toy store in Princeton, West Virginia. 80s toys of Princeton, West Virginia. Take a shot when you rewatch this every time I say Princeton, West Virginia. Anyway, we got to meet up. We did a live show there at the shop and had an absolute blast. As I said, Bert has become one of my best friends thanks to YouTube. He and I met up, I believe, or not met up, we met, I think, six months into me doing YouTube and we just clicked. I mean, he's a fellow veteran like I am, though he jumped out of airplanes where I told howitzers where to shoot. But still, we bonded, we became great friends still talk and message to this day, uh, do live shows together. And I just had an absolute blast meeting him and his family in person. It was awesome. Can't wait to do it again. Bert, you're the man. Bert is the reason I'm going to give him credit for me being where I am right now. He helped me out so much when I first got started. So Bert, thank you so much. Now we move on to February. February was a big month for me because that's when Toy Hacks reached out to me and asked if they could sponsor my channel. 
I was through the roof. I'd been doing toy hacks reviews kind of for myself for something on my channel to do. They loved how I was representing their product. They approached me and to this day, we still have a good repertoire, so to speak. And stay tuned because the end of this video, Toy Hacks has donated some giveaways for me to raffle off on my channel. So that was February. Teaming up with Toy Hacks was awesome. In March, of course, that's when the COVID hit, the pandemic shut everything down. We're trapped at home and I reached 5,000 subscribers, which was a huge moment for me because my big thing in October, October 2019, right before TFCon was trying to reach 2,000. So I had 2,000 in October and jumped right to 5,000 in March. No idea how I did that. If I knew the secret of getting that many subscribers that fast, I would bottle it and sell it on YouTube. So that happened. And of course, like I said, we got locked down, we're trapped at home. And I was so bored that I reviewed toilet paper. Yes, I reviewed toilet paper. And you can check that out right there. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Kato from Kato's Collection out doing some toy hunting and I wanted to stop and say a huge congratulations to my buddy Patriot Prime for three glorious years on YouTube and here's to many, many more. It's been my great pleasure to get to know you and consider you a genuine friend and I can't wait to see what you have in store for all of us. Many years to come. In April, my good friend Cato got to interview Stan Bush on his channel for the T-Formers Stay at Home event, which was really cool. A lot of us YouTubers got together. We did different things to kind of entertain everybody during the lockdown. And Cato got Stan Bush, the Stan Bush from Transformers the Movie, The Touch, The Power, Dare. Cato interviewed him, and as a special surprise to me, Kato got Stan Bush to wish my son Dylan a happy birthday. So that was so cool. Hi, Dylan. Stan Bush here. Just want to wish you a happy birthday. You got the touch. And then in July, my big thing was I finally got new internet because I swear the internet I used before, there was a gerbil in a wheel that powered my internet. It sucked. So now I got fiber optic internet. I've got better streaming. I could do live shows and that was it. I'm pretty much July to now. Great figure reviews, great toy hacks, live shows, all that cool stuff like that. So that's my quick wrap up of my third year on YouTube. Now we're getting to the main meat of this show. Uh, I wanted to do something special for you guys and I put a poll on my YouTube community page asking if you want me to do a special three-year anniversary live show or three-year anniversary top 10 list. And top 10 list blew up. That was the most voted thing, and that's what I'm going to do for you guys now. Hello there, this is Graham at The Collector 75, and I'd like to congratulate Patriot Prime on three years on YouTube. It's never easy starting up on YouTube, but he's made it look so easy. He's got a great channel, great content, and what more can you say, really? Congratulations. <laughs> Now, picking a top 10 list for this video proved to be quite a challenge. It took me about a week before I finally decided on what I wanted to do because I really had no idea what you guys wanted to see. Did you want to see top 10 figures in my collection, top 10 Generation 1, top 10 Autobots, top 10 Decepticons, so on and so forth. Every top 10 I thought of, I thought, well, I can make a whole new video just on that. And I want to give you guys something special. And that was the key word, special. So the bots I'm going to show you in this top 10 list are figures that have a special meaning to me. They're important figures and they got a pretty neat, each one has a pretty neat story to tell. And starting off with number 10, it's actually two figures and I'll show you why. Number 10 for me, part one is Gobot Screwhead. See how I gave my little Decepticon logo right there? This figure is my top 10 because this 
was my first transforming toy that I ever owned. I remember my grandfather buying him for me. We went to a department store, it might be the Hills or a Roses. There was, these guys were all over the pegs. I'm all excited checking them out. I was like, I've never seen anything like these before. And this guy looked so cool. I mean, he transforms into a drill tank. I mean, back in the eighties, drill tanks were everywhere. So it was just a really cool vehicle and I had to have him and I love this guy. My very first transforming figure, I mean, die cast. It's a GoBot, don't be hating. But that's the reason this, uh, my number 10 is a two-parter because this may be my first transforming figure. This is my first transformer. 1984 Gears. I got him at a gift exchange and I'm thinking it may have been a Sunday school gift, gift exchange in Christmas of 84. And I was just thrilled to get this guy. My very first transformer. And what's cool is my first experience with the Transformers was Marvel Comics issue number three. And if you're familiar with the old Marvel Comics stories, issue number three, right there, featured Spider-Man teaming up with Gears. So this was my first experience with the Transformers. This was my first Transformers figure, and I love it. Especially, I think it was last year, he was re-released at Walmart. So now I've got him hanging up the wall, on the wall, in his original packaging in that reissue. So number 10 for me, Screwhead, my first transforming figure, and Gears, my first transformer. Sam with 84 here to congratulate Patriot Prime Reviews on three successful years here on YouTube. I've seen your channel grow from the little bitty baby channel it once was to the great channel it is today. And here's two more years of continued success. Congratulations, man. Number nine is 1996's Beast Wars Megatron. And this figure right here is the one that brought me back into collecting Transformers. I mean, I quit collecting uh, when I got into high school. I still followed Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics was my generation one, but I quit collecting the toys. I was into girls now, off to school, all this other stuff. There was more important things in my life. I mean, of course, look how it's all changed now. But I remember I was working as a loss prevention control, loss prevention specialist at a Kmart store in 1996. And to get back to my back office, I actually walked through the action figure aisle into the back room. And I'd always pass these Beast Wars characters or these Beast Wars figures. And I'm just looking at them, I'm picking up the boxes. They had great looking box art. And I'm checking out this Megatron figure. And I thought this thing looks awesome. Megatron was always one of my favorite figures. And it was so cool seeing him as this big T-Rex. And, I mean, on the original box, this Megatron was actually the Generation 1 Megatron who scanned a T-Rex in a museum. It was something weird. The bios on the box were way different than the television show. But anyway, as I walk by and I'm looking at this guy over and over again, one day I finally decided, what the hell? I'm going to buy him. I went to the register and I remember... I was like embarrassed to buy this guy. And I told the girl at the register, I said, yeah, I'm buying it for my little brother. So there we go. This is the figure that got me into collecting again. So 1996's Beast Wars Megatron. While we've grown out, we've ninibong. I'm Engineer Hoist here to say congratulations to Patriot Prime for three years on YouTube. You got a great channel and you're a great guy and I wish you continued success in the future. Keep rolling, my friend. Number eight is a figure I really need to get in front of the camera to do a Generation 1 review on, and that is Six Shot. This is an awesome Generation 1 figure and the reason he's so special to me, this is the very first figure that I totally restored. When I first got him, he was messed up. He stickers were all tore off. Somebody had drawn on him with a Sharpie uh, marker or something. Uh, he was just in bad shape. One of his guns was full of gunk. It's like somebody tried to caulk it or tried to paint the gun and it was full of all this crap. So I took this guy apart. I cleaned him. Uh, that's when I discovered how good Goo Gone is, getting all the marks off of him. And then I discovered a company online that made reproduction decals 
for uh, Generation 1 Transformers. So this right here is my first Toy Hacks purchase. And uh, I couldn't be happier how this figure turned out. He's pretty much dead mint now. And uh, I got creative because I actually reversed the decals right here on the original Generation 1 toy. The Decepticon logos are supposed to be on this side of the wings, but I like to display mine like this. So I kind of tweaked it a little bit to have the Decepticon logos on the outside. I love this guy. This is a great figure. I'm really proud to have him in my collection. And this is the one that pretty much started me off on toy hacks and restoring vintage figures. I couldn't tell you how many I've restored over the years, but it's all thanks to this guy right here. So that is my number eight, Generation One Six Shot. Hey Patriot Prime, Optimus Wilbur here, and congratulations on three years on YouTube, dude. One of the best channels out there, and it has fully deserved everything that's coming to you and your channel. And I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. So thank you, dude, and congratulations again. My number seven figure is one that I picked up at 2013 at my very first Transformers convention. The Land Shark from Shardicon. It was a Transformer convention held in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they called it Shardicon because of Charlotte, and they used Sharkticons as the mascot. And this one right here, the Land Shark, is a repaint, remold of, I believe it was, Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Bulkhead. So a really cool looking figure. Now I've never transformed this guy because, well, he's painted and he's got special parts and attachments and I just really don't want to mess him up because I think there was only about 75 made and I had to get one. I got up extra early that day, drove all the way from my cousin's house about five miles up the road, got there, maybe 5 36 in the morning to get in line so I could snag one. I think I was fourth and or fourth or fifth in line and I'm really happy to have this guy. He looks great. I love the color scheme and uh, the fact they made him with a generation one style box. So that is really cool. See, I have him posed looking like the box. The box even had tech specs on the back done up generation one style. This is a great figure and I know there's not many of them out there and there's not many people that have this guy and I just love him. He's a really cool figure that has his own special little place up there on my, has, actually has his own shelf, a little shelf right there, right above my desk. That was such a fun convention. I had a blast. That was the first, as I said, first Transformer convention I was ever at. It was so cool seeing people like me. I mean, I just, I heard about them, read about guys like on the internet, but actually meeting fellow fans shaking hands, and actually, Shardicon is where I got the nickname Patriot Prime. I went to Charlotte a couple months prior, that's where I found out about Shardicon, because my wife and I, we turned 40, got tattoos, and I got this Optimus Prime carrying the American flag. And during Shardicon, I went around with the tank top on, because one, it's hot as hell in those conventions, and it was summertime, and so many people walked up, they saw the tattoo, and they started calling me Patriot Prime. And when I was coming up with my YouTube channel name, that's the one that clicked. And I was like, boom, there you go. So contrary to what you may hear on the interwebs, Patriot Prime has nothing to do with current world situations. It's all thanks to a nickname I got at Shardicon, a great Transformer convention with a pretty funny name. So that is my number seven, Land Shark. Hey, Patriot Prime, congratulations for making three years on YouTube from Larkin's Lair. Hope to see many more years to come when you are old and gray and we all we have is arthritis in our hands and the only thing we can review are one-step changers. My number six is another generation one figure and a pretender, the mighty Thunderwing. Now, as I said earlier, I stopped collecting the toys as I got older, but I continued to read Marvel Comics. And one of the characters that just absolutely fascinated me in Marvel Comics was Thunderwing. Simon Furman wrote that figure, wrote that character so well into that story. I mean, this was the only Decepticon who was able to wield the Matrix. He corrupted the Matrix, 
but was still really cool that he was able to wield it. And as I got into collecting G1s again, I was like, I have to get a Thunderwing. I just, this is before my goals of, you know, I had to get every figure as possible. This was one of those Grail figures. I was determined to find one and I lucked out a few years ago and got this one fairly dirt cheap on eBay because the guy had him mistransformed. He transformed him. He had one foot folded in like so. And the way it looked on the picture, I asked the guys, I, th I thought it was broke. And uh, I asked him, and he's, it was actually his girlfriend was selling the figures for him. And she says, I don't know, he may be broke. And I made an offer on him. And uh, I got this Thunderwing complete. I was thrilled to find out he wasn't broke for a steal. And uh, I think I got him about 70 bucks maybe. But thrilled to have this guy. He's not as awesome looking as he was in the comics, but this is a fantastic figure. And I know pretenders get a lot of hate, but check this out. I mean, not only does the little robot go inside the big robot, but this guy has a unique gimmick is the shell right here can transform. So we'll transform the shell first. Let me go ahead and flip him around, get this section up. So the shell transforms into this supersonic fighter. Very simple transformation. Fold the wings down. Always got that nice creaky old sound. Now, the jet really doesn't look like much now. And right there, that is painted gold. That is not the gold plastic, the GPS. So you got the jet mode right here. And of course, you got the little bot. He transforms into a jet as well. Fold the arms in, flip the head down. Da, da, da. Get these wings out. So right there, you've got the little jet mode or alt mode of the mini, mini bot, inner bot. But what's really cool is you connect these two together. And when they are connected together, forms one of the coolest generation one jets. I love the looks of this. This thing is armed to the teeth. It's got weapons here. Of course, you can mount the guns under the wings. I think I reviewed Thunderwing as my hundredth review, I think. So you got the big guns here. You can put the gun here on the back. Unfortunately, the way this is designed, that gun just shoots into the canopy. But I love the looks of that jet. That is thing. That is awesome. It's a great toy. Pretty expensive unless you look out like I do. And I really, really hope that we get a proper Thunderwing in the modern line. We got one a few years ago with the Generations, but this guy, he needs the love. So this is my number six, Generation One Ultra Pretender Thunderwing. Hey guys, I'm here from Transformers and Video Games. I'm just about to head out and do a little bit of garage sale hunting, but first I thought I'd pop by and congratulate my buddy Jason from Patriot Prime Reviews on his awesome three-year anniversary on YouTube. I first had the opportunity to get to know Jason a couple of years ago when he had me as a guest on his YouTube show called The Set Rep, and I had an absolute blast speaking with him in real time. Jason's at around 6,700 subscribers right now, but he's quickly closing in on that highly coveted 10,000 subscriber milestone, and if he keeps doing what he's doing, he's going to get there before he knows it. Jason, thank you very much for entertaining us. Thanks for all your hard work on the platform, but more importantly, thank you for your friendship. Talk to you soon, buddy. Number five is Generation One Roadbuster. And this figure is special to me because this is the first gift I received from a subscriber. I mean, just completely out of the blue, I get an email asking if I would like to have a Generation One Roadbuster. And of course, I'm like, yes, what's the catch? And he says, I like what you do. I appreciate your service. And I want this figure to go somewhere where I know it'll be loved. So he sent me a 100% complete Roadbuster. It's got the little round uh, sensor array. It's got the antenna. I mean, everything. And it is in perfect shape. I mean, not only did he send me the Roadbuster, I also got... Uh, some vintage Transformer books, some patches. I mean, it just blew me away. I mean, just out of nowhere, 
someone offered to give me something just for what I do here on YouTube. Now, since I've got this figure, I've got quite a few other gifts from subscribers and each one I'm eternally grateful for and uh, it just humbles me to receive them. I mean, it really gets me right in the heart, guys. I don't think it's something I take advantage of. It's just, I, it really means a lot to me. Each and every one that I've got from a subscriber has a special place in my heart. But this one right here, this is the first one I ever got. And man, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. I mean, it's it's just awesome. The the YouTuber, the tra the YouTube Transformer communities, it, it's amazing. There is some great people in this community, and it's stuff like this that really shows. So that is my number five. Right, Ghost Prime from Ghost Prime Transformers Reviews. I just want to congratulate Patriot Prime for three years of YouTube videos. It's been amazing watching your channel grow and uh, become the channel it is now. with awesome, awesome reviews. And I'm looking forward for more in the future. You're an awesome guy, man. My number four is the figure that started all of this YouTube stuff. Well, maybe it's not as much the figure as the accessories I bought for him. And that is Titan's Return overlord with these shockwave lab accessories when i decided i was going to be a youtuber i wanted to review something that i knew nobody else had reviewed i wanted to stand out a little bit and i had just got this overlord figure and absolutely loved him i discovered overlord with uh, last stand of the wreckers and i really after discovering him in last stand i researched the generation one figure found all the, how he looked, and then when the Titans Return version came out, he was just missing some things, and that's when I discovered Shockwave Labs, and they have the G1-inspired gun, they've got the G1-inspired chest plates, the shoulder, shoulder panels right here, he's got an extra double-barrel cannon, so I bought that set, and I just kept watching YouTube to see if anybody else had reviewed this Shockwave Labs uh, upgrade set, and by the time I got it, no one had, and so that was my very first review, Overlord with this upgrade set, and that's it. That's that's what started it all. I absolutely love how this figure looks with the set. You can actually utilize them in uh, vehicle modes as well. Really adds to the look of the figure, and <laughs> this this is the guy you blame for all of this. So that is my number four. Titans Return Overlord with the Shockwave Lab upgrades. Hey, big shout out to PPR. Three years, man. Three years on YouTube. I remember the early days, baby, when you and I and so many others were, you know, those small YouTubers just starting to grow and trying to encourage everyone to do their best to keep at it, to stay with it, and look at you now, man. Three years later, the success just keeps flowing. Man, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Here is to the next three years and your continued success, my friend. My number three is one of the original 1984 Transformers, and that is Generation 1 Megatron. This is the figure that I show off every time I bring somebody up into my office who's never seen this before. I always show off Megatron because, well, let's face it, we're not going to get another Megatron. We're not going to get a Megatron that turns into a realistic looking gun. I mean, this guy, he's fantastic. He's die cast. He looks great. He's just so 80s and heavy. I mean, this guy... It's just, it's awesome. I just don't have enough good things to say about Generation 1 Megatron. Now, when I was a kid, my Generation 1 Megatron not only fought the Autobots, but I would use him when I was playing like Spy or, you know, how you run around with your guns and pretend he was my go-to pretend gun. I mean, I used Megatron tons as a kid, and I remember the day he broke. I was playing Transformers upstairs in my room. And I was playing above the steps. And I had put Megatron up on the banister. He was up towering over the Autobots. And he fell. And he went down the steps. And this section right here where that screws in, that broke right off. And no amount of super glue would fix him. I was absolutely devastated because, you know, back then, you broke a toy and it wasn't being sold in the stores anymore. 
that was it. You weren't going to find one. And by God, I remember I was just devastated when I lost, uh, lost my Megatron. Now I got this Megatron, a very funny story. I bought him at a local flea market. He didn't have any of his accessories and he was actually transform him into gun mode here just to show how great this guy is. Like I can transform in a heartbeat, but man, he's oh, well over 30 years old. You want to be careful. Get him all locked together and tabbed in. Yeah, so right there, they don't make them like that anymore. All that die cast makes him heavy. Very realistic looking gun. So anyway, I found him just like this at a flea market. He's laying on the table. And I'm looking down. It's just like, oh, I can't believe what I found. And I asked the lady, I said, how much for that toy gun right there? And she just looks at it and says, oh, I don't know, $5. So I just immediately hand her that $5. She took it. I picked this guy up and I'm transforming him. I'm popping him apart just like so. Transforming. She's just watching me. Just eyes. Her eyes were looking like mine was when I first saw her or saw him. So I transform him into robot mode. And she's looking at me and goes, I didn't know he did that. I'm going to have to ask for more. And I said, ma'am, we just made a deal. I gave you $5 for this figure and you accepted it. And that's it. I got this Generation 1 Megatron. Minus the accessories, of course, which I hunted down thanks to eBay and Facebook. Or maybe it's just eBay. I can't remember. But anyway, I think this uh, Generation 1 Megatron may have just cost me $40 altogether. And he is one of the crown jewels in my collection. Like I said, he's the one I always show off because, you know, you're not going to see a gun like this anymore. And it's just a great reminder of how awesome the 80s Transformers were. So... That is my number three, Generation One, Megatron. Congratulations, Patriot Prime, on your channel's three-year anniversary. And I just want to say, through you and your channel, you have been the main link in the Transformers community that without you, I would have met dozens of other great content creators, and now they've become good friends. So keep up the good work. And for those of you who are watching this episode and are not subscribed, what are you waiting on? You're missing out on fantastic content. And this is Animatio Matrix signing out and goodbye. My number two figure or figures is the awesome combiner Menasaur. This was my favorite combiner growing up. Actually, it's still my favorite combiner. I love the Stunicons. This was the only complete combiner I had as a child. I love these guys in the cartoon. I thought Motormaster was awesome. And I could not wait to get another one in my collection. Now, funny story about Menasaur. As far as my collection is concerned, when I first got into collecting again and I wanted to get a Menasaur, I had that horrible KO version. Remember, you got three Stunicons and I think you got two Technobots with it. It was just this horrible... KO, but it stood in back there on the back until about five years ago, they came out with this new version. It was a much better KO where you got all of the Stunicons. The plastic was still a little iffy, so I got that one and had that in the collection for a while and then finally got a 100% complete Generation 1 Stunicon set and... I couldn't be happier. I have in my possession now my favorite, absolute favorite combiner team, the authentic Generation 1 version. Now, mine has a upgrade sword because that just looks so much better than the little dinky one it came with. Uh, completely restored. It's got brand new Toy Hacks decals on it. And another great thing about this figure for me is this figure right here has my most is my most viewed uh, figure. My most viewed Transformer is this guy right here at 28,000. Actually, over 28,000 views on my Stunicon. So, I just, I love this guy. I, I love having him in my collection. I love what he's done for my channel. And I couldn't be happier. This, this is an awesome toy. And I love this guy. So, that is my number two Generation 1 
Menasaur. Hey everyone, Enu Tavi here. Just wanted to say congratulations to Patriot Prime for three years on YouTube. One of the first guys I ever started watching and one of the best out there today. Congratulations, buddy. And my number one figure, the figure that means the most to me out of my entire collection is my MP01 Optimus Prime. This thing is big, it's beefy, it's die cast. You don't want to drop it. This would shatter my glass desk right here. And if you're familiar with the channel, if you've been a viewer of mine for some time, this was my mascot for the longest time. I got this guy with a flag in it. I put him against a white background. I photoshopped the background out. And he was Patriot Prime until I actually got my logo. My wife bought this figure for me in 2004 while I was in Iraq. And to just think it back, you know, what she was probably going through while I was over there and she's still going out of her way to get stuff like this for me. And uh, it, it means, a, get the flag out of my face. It really means a lot to me. This figure is a centerpiece in my collection. You guys have probably seen it many times standing back there. Uh, it was also the very first figure I bought add-on kits for because he used to have these little dinky smokestacks, but I bought these big, longer ones that really improve his looks. And I I love this guy. This this one just, every time I look at it, I think about 2004. I think about being over in the desert. My wife being home all by herself while I was gone for 14 months. And she's still buying toys for me. So, yeah, that's it. That is my number one, the figure that means the most to me. MP01, Optimus Prime. Patriot Prime Reviews. Hey, this is Dan from E Before I and also the brand new channel, The No Wheat Geek. And listen, I just took a look at your channel stats. 750,000 views, 478 videos, and 6.7 thousand subs in only three years? Brother, congratulations. You've earned it. Love your channel. Here's to another three, 30, 50. I just keep it going forever. Best of luck to you again, and congratulations. So that's it, guys. That is my top 10 figures that mean the most to me, the ones that are most special to me. I hope you enjoyed me showing them off to you. I hope you enjoyed the stories behind them. Uh, I enjoyed sharing them. There's a lot of stuff that I've never really talked about on camera before. So I do it for you guys. And you guys, for sure, are the reason I do this. I appreciate each and every one of you. I, I love making these videos for you guys. I love reading the comments. I may not comment on every comment, but I do read them. I try to give the heart uh, symbol or the little love, whatever, that shows that I read them, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, to show my appreciation, as I teased earlier, I have a giveaway for you, and this giveaway is all thanks to ToyHacks.com. I've been talking to them for a few weeks now lining up, making sure that we're all on the same page as far as this giveaway is concerned. So how this is going to work, it's going to be comment based. I'm going to use YouTube random comment picker and pick three winners. This is my three year anniversary. I figure let's have three winners for this. And each prize is going to be a toy hack set donated, as I said, by toyhacks.com. Uh, if you Watch my channel. You're familiar with me and Toy Hacks. I absolutely love Toy Hacks decals. They, they're a sponsor of me for almost a year now. And I couldn't be happier with them. And I'm very grateful that they're donating to the channel. So here's the prizes. The third prize is a decal set for the Earthrise Seekers, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Now, Toy Hacks already has the Starscream set on their site but the Skywarp and Thundercracker set have yet to be produced. So the third prize winner is going to get some unreleased decals. Second prize is a decal set for Earthrise Optimus Prime. This is a fantastic set that greatly improves Prime and his trailer. And if you have that Earthrise trailer, you know what I'm talking about. That thing is so plain and so gray. And this set really knocks that whole figure set right out of the park. Now the grand prize, 
the big one, the one I am so thankful that Toy Hacks has donated to this giveaway. Y'all going to love this. The grand prize is the Earthrise, Scorponok, and Zarek set. Both figure sets. And this is something else. I've already applied the Zarek decals. They look amazing. And I just got the Scorponok ones in the mail. Uh, five decal sheets. So here's one. Uh, two. Three. Four and five. So yes, the grand prize is this awesome. I think it's about 149 some decals. <laughs> That's something else right there. You're gonna get all of these decals for Scorponok plus the decal set for Lord Zarek. And all you need to do to enter is comment on this video. Congratulations, Patriot Prime. I'm stuck on toy hacks. And that's it. One week from today, I'm going to do a live drawing for the three prizes. The Seeker set, the Optimus Prime set, and the Scorponok and Zarek set. And that's it. Comment below. Congratulations, Patriot Prime. I'm stuck on toy hacks and you're entered in the drawing. So good luck. And once again, thank you, toy hacks. And... Thank you guys. As I said before, I do this for you. You are the reason that I'm on here in front of this camera talking to myself while my family's asleep. And I love every minute of it. This is so much fun. And this, this whole community, like I said, I've met great people through this YouTube thing. People I consider dear, dear friends now. And it just, it wouldn't be possible at all if it wasn't for this right here. So guys, as I say many, many times, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo Now, on to year four. Hey, Mike from Firetox Designs here. I want to shout out to Patriot Prime on three years on YouTube. It's been awesome to work with you, man, and I cannot wait to see what else is coming. I can't wait to see what else you put out, and I hope for many, many more years. What's that? Hey, Patriot Prime, it's Rodimus Primal and Aerith, and we want to wish you a happy anniversary for three years on YouTube, and Aerith and I are going to sing you a little song, right, Aerith? Mm-hmm. All right, so... The Transformers. More than meets the eye. Go ahead, say. Autobots wave their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers. Robots in disguise. The Transformers. More than meets, meets the, the eye. eye. The Transformers. Transformers. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs>